So this is part of our chemistry field session, uh, CH460. Uh, one week of our six week field uh, session is doing environmental chemistry. And particularly what we're looking at are some of the mining sites that we have up here in the mountains. So this is our, our group. We have about 25 students this semester. Uh, we spent uh, a couple days in the lab learning some of the background chemistry of what's happening up here in the field. So they did an experiment in the lab on Monday and the experiment in the lab on Tuesday to hopefully feed into this. Today we're, we're collecting water samples. We want to see how metals move in the environment and what impacts they have. So they're collecting samples will tell them what metals uh, tend to move throughout the environment, which ones may stick to sediments or not be transported. So as part of their work, we broke them up into five groups, and some of them are looking at some of the waste materials you see uh, that they've tried to revegetate behind us. Again, the stream is right behind us over here. They've collected water samples, and so now they have to do some chemistry. They have to be able to measure the metals in the water, so they'll take these samples back, and tomorrow in the lab, we'll run something called ICP, which will give us copper, zinc, lead, those sorts of things. They also need to know things like the pH and the conductivity of the water, so they've got some field kits set up. And they have some other experiments that they can measure, uh, do measurements in the lab or in the field here as well. So they're pretty busy, and we've got four or five different objectives, and each class or each group has a, a slightly different objective. Alkalinity of. Oh, wait, which one is this? This is really You guys should have your own. <laughs> we use the old sport. I have the samples you guys want to start setting that up? I can do in the spirit of a field session, I don't know how many of these guys are going to wind up going for environmentally oriented jobs, but certainly this is the kind of stuff they might encounter once they're done with, uh, with classes, is if they want to go into environmental consulting or some other areas, having these field skills, knowing how to do some of the very simple things that really become fairly uh, difficult in the field, you know, just filtering a sample, just measuring a good pH of the sample, all that's a little bit harder in the field, uh, and so it's, it's good to have this experience. So I guess other than just our um, do we all need As you can see, it's, uh, it's controlled chaos is what we like to think. And so, um, again, we do this type of practical work out here, but again, we try to tie it back to the basic chemistry that they did in the lab. Now what happens tomorrow is we're going to have a bunch of data to look at. We're going to get together as groups, hash through what the data looks like, what it means. Then their groups have to produce a uh, presentation that they'll give Friday afternoon. And so it's all a, bit, a little bit accelerated. Uh, it's good, uh, good for them to have to have some really short-term deadlines. But what we hope to see is, is some good presentations on questions like how acid is the stream? How much copper is in the stream? Is the copper above the levels that are considered safe for things like aquatic life? So we'll compare their results to what the stream standards are that have been set by Colorado. So they've got a bunch of questions that they can tackle with their data they're, they're collecting today. So far, so good. <laughs>